uh, we have two originals being filmed right now. Um, one is Narcos, which is uh, the history of cocaine. Uh, something for everyone there. Uh, with uh, Jose Padilla, the Brazilian director who directed uh, Elite Squad, Tropa de Elite, and uh, Robocop. Um, and it stars Wagner Mora as uh, Pablo Escobar and uh, features a number of, of uh, Mexican actors, including Ana de la Reguera. Uh, we also are filming, uh, we will be filming uh, in a couple of months, um, uh, a show that's entitled right now Los Escorpiones. Uh, probably will have a title change from Gadas Alex Raki. Um, it reunites many of the, the, the cast of Nosotros Los Nobles. It's about a football club and a family that fights over it. Um, so that will be available next year, as will Narcos. At the same time, um, we have a number of Mexican actors and actresses involved in other projects that uh, we are doing around the world, including Sense8, which is the new series from the Wachowskis, uh, who did The Matrix. Um, and I can't remember the name of the uh, you got that? Alfonso Herrera and Daniel Ibarra. Alfonso Herrera and Daniel Ibarra. Okay, nice. Teddy, we did a, a deal with Adam Sandler where his next movie, movie after that, movie after that, movie after that. So next four movies will debut exclusively on Netflix. And what we're trying to do is figure out how do we break uh, the stranglehold that the movie theaters have on movies. So, you know, the movie theater's fine. I went to the movie theater last weekend. But we don't think they should have exclusive. We think it should be also available to be able to watch in the home. If you have a 4K television, you know, you might want to go to the theater, you might not, but you should be able to watch at the same time. And the theater owners are very afraid of that age, of being able to offer uh, you know, both at the same time. And so instead of just waiting and waiting for the delay after the movie theater, we're going direct to the producer. So Adam Sandler was one. Another one is um, Crouching Tiger, uh, the second version of it. And uh, that'll debut August 28th next year around the world. Uh, where it's uh, debuted on Netflix and also on IMAX theaters. It's a super high visual extravaganza. Um, and so in 10 or 15 years, what I hope is consumers won't have to wait. The basic problem with uh, the entertainment distribution now is, you know, it's in the theater but you can't watch it, or it's on this, this, but you can't watch it here. Uh, and these are all artificial barriers. And we want to move to a world where uh, you can choose and watch at any time because without that, you know, piracy is just going to keep growing. And, you know, we really need to focus on what the consumers want. And again, it's not only Netflix, it's lots of other companies doing that. It's really around this internet choice that's, that's making that happen. Okay, one more.